were shocked that anyone came. <laughs> you really, you, I, I, my nose is all stuffed because I was moved to tears. On a cold October day, you and I went our own way. Hearts like diamonds, tough as a rock. Jewels on a broken cloud. Jewels on a cloud. If you want to break with me, that's all right. I'm her mother.
Let's just break each other's hearts this way. Just break each other's hearts this way. So this is where it comes to pass. Tile floors, mirror glass, and I'm not sure you'll remember. seen us before. Cool. <laughs> well, what can I tell you about us? This is our well, this is our first show in a long, long time, in about five months or six months. Um, and we had to take a break because I had a baby. <laughs> I was just thinking during that song, that last time we played together, she was here, but she wasn't born yet. <laughs> um, so this is Granny. Granny. I love it. Are there any uh, grandparents here? Yay! It's the best, right? It's like a whole new thing. And today is also the first day that she got left with a babysitter. <laughs> right. So... So this is, this is a song about worrying, which now I have two people I need to worry about. Upside down it seems Been hey. 
heavy on the heart, the sadness and the darkness. Welcome to my dream. There's a lot else about us if you're just meeting us that doesn't have to do with the baby. <laughs> but we, it's hard for us to remember that. <laughs> um, but before all of that, we, um, we made a couple of records together. And when we make records together, we kind of do a combo of songs that one or the other of us has written or, or covers that we just really like. This is one of the covers that we really liked. And it's on one of our records together. And it's by a band called The Beatles. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> See, no. 
Charlie sent them. Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Oh, he's standing up. <laughs> uh, I guess you live near here, right? I, I mean, maybe you don't want to admit it. But. Does anybody have any questions or comments so far? I mean, seriously, we drove here today, and when we drive and travel like this, it's we're in the car like this, then we're, you know, in the hotel beds like this, then we're back in the car like this, stop to pee, go into the stalls like this, and then on stage like this. So, I mean, we'd love to talk to you if you <laughs> had anything to say. Not yes, only you that. You were about to say something. Oh, okay. somebody no, was no, no, I <laughs> well, you know what? We're driving back to New York tonight. Oh. We drove ba down, and now we're driving back. Whoa. I know. That's how much we wanted to come and see you. That's why we're so amazed that you came. <laughs> anyway, this is a song that... Um, But if Charlie took us out to dinner instead of sent the roses, we'd have to go out to dinner with him. And it, we're very shy, and so is he. So, you know, anyway. Also, we're not as much fun at dinner. <laughs> not that we're fun, I don't know if you're having fun, but just, it gets, only goes downhill from here is what I mean. <laughs> Say okay. what? Maybe he'll come to New York. <laughs> There's a thought. Um, well, this is a song that I wrote, um, you know, because of my advanced age. I've been wondering, like, how long is this going to go on? Um, not just life itself, but, you know, getting up and singing and stuff like that. So I wanted, I thought, well, I'll go out with a song, um, you know, a swan song. And uh, I thought I would write a, a song called the Swan Song. <laughs> and I did eventually sit down to write that song, but it came out differently than I had planned. And actually, it's a swan slash duck song. <laughs> Face. 
couple of feathers strewn across the glass. The duck looked up at me, afraid to ask what happened to me. something had to give it's what happens when you live feathers come and feathers go there's one thing you should know birds of a feather together flow from now on no swan will be your friend there'll be plenty of ducks around the bend but only when you swim the muddy water with your two duck feet your strange new heart doesn't even recognize its beat ba 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 Months went by before I went back looking for the duck, but the duck wasn't in the muck there was no quack back no more duck i turned my eyes up to the sky i thought i heard the song of a tiny bird singing good luck the duck said look at me guess now i'm a hummingbird you never really know what's next on that up of my word Remember when I swam the muddy water with my two duck feet My strange new heart didn't even recognize its beat ba 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 How's it going? Well. Yeah. yeah. We're in a few of them, and you know, a lot, a lot of the people in this family do this job for a living, and for a while there they were making, you know, everyone's making records and giving them to each other, and, and then you take the records home and listen, and you're like, huh, I wonder who that song's about. <laughs> but then, then they moved on to, and this was about, I don't know, 12 years ago or so, people started to create new humans instead of records and alongside records. And so I have now two nephews and a niece, and they're very intense. Uh, their names are, uh, their names alone are intense. Their names are Viva, Francis Valentine, and Archangelo. So, um, yeah, and I don't know what kind of kids you guys have in your life, but uh, ours are kind of dark. <laughs> I'll try to give you an example. Um, my niece Viva, years ago when she was little, I was giving her a bath, and I don't see her that often because I live in New York and she lives in LA, and you know, 
I, I, I wasn't getting her bath, I was putting her to bed. <laughs> and I was singing, I had sung like 12 songs and read a bunch of books and finally I was like, hey, why don't you sing yourself a song and I'll just go out with the adults, good night. And she said to me, fine, but I'm gonna sing a song about a sad human. <laughs> so I said, welcome to the family. <laughs> So uh, in honor of these dark characters, my sister Martha and I, we made a record together, and the concept of the record was um, dark lullabies, because um, we just have a lot of really great money-making ideas. And so when we were trying to figure out the name of that record, uh, you know, we were throwing around suggestions, and I, I, I asked my nephew, Ark, he was about five at the time. I said, what do you think we should name this record? And he said, Mud and Apples. And I was like, that's so good. And I really campaigned for that to be the name of the record, but I'm the younger of the two sisters, and that's not the name of the record. <laughs> um, so then I wrote this song for Ark, and it's called Mud and Apples. And then when we made our next record together, we named it Mud and Apples. So there's the upside of having everyone making records together, as you can just pass the title along to the next record. <laughs> um, so this is Mud and Apples. It's a love song to my, uh, to anyone's, you know, younger generation. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not the <laughs> Any other questions? I saw you had a question. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard when so many people are watching. Anybody else have any? How long have you performed together? How long have we performed together? God, it's getting on a lot of years. Ten years or something. I think longer than that. Well, we sort of have been together for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another. It's oh, Charlie. is that Charlie? Yes. <laughs> There's a, there's a line in the song, Another World, a helmet on my head, and he's wondering if you or any of your siblings ever had to wear a helmet. Only to ride a bicycle, I would say. But no, I, not in general. <laughs> but good question. Maybe it would have helped. Thank you, Penny. That's that's who? That's your baby in the middle. Oh, oh. oh that's the first picture anyone's ever drawn of my baby. I don't know Thank how you. you knew. It looks just like her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Penny. This one's for Penny. <laughs> Hardly 
get you into bed before we need a drink to pour. We love you so. So much and apples at your This is national, I think. I think it's National Women's Month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, international, right? International? I think so. And that's why we're playing here, in honor of that. There's a little bit of an issue that comes up when you think you might want to cover one of them, and that is that um, in a lot of them, the woman in the story meets a very terrible end. <laughs> um, and like, I'll give you an example. There's a song called All God's Angels that, uh, where the storyline is this. There's this girl, and she says to her boyfriend, um, you have another girlfriend, is she better than me? And then he's like, yes, she's 12 of you. She's as good as 12 of you. And then the woman says, okay, well, I'll just go out into the fields and, and perish, <laughs> which is what she does. And that's the whole song. <laughs> so you see what I mean? It's not really like the, you know, it's not the message we're looking to send out into the world right now. So it's hard to find one that, that works for us. But this one we really like, and, and this one, She's in charge. As I went out walking, one fine summer's morning, the bird. In the branches they did gaily sing the lads and the lasses together were sporting going down to the factory their work to be. Far fairer than any Her cheeks like the red rose That none could excel Her skin like the lily That grows in yon valley She's my own Bonnie Annie My factory stepped it up to her just thinking to view her but at me she cast a proud look of disdain saying stand off me young man and do not insult me for although I am poor sure I think Do you dwell? Find 
Are there any Roaches fans here too? Yeah. I was before I lived in Texas. <laughs> Say that again? I was a fan of Roaches until I lived in Texas. Oh dear. Oh, I see. You mean the other kind of Roaches. Well, we live in New York, so we know what you mean. But I think the rats have taken over in New York now. Really? Yeah, do you guys have the outdoor dining uh, situation rat yeah. party yeah. thing yeah. happening? Yeah. <sighs> That's fun. changing our mind. Okay, we're changing our mind because um, the, uh, the rats <laughs> reminded me. <laughs> um, you know, while we were driving down here, we were thinking um, about how much has changed since three years ago this month. We were driving up. We had started to make a record in Nashville, and we were going to go home for a couple weeks and do some gigs and then come back down to Nashville and finish it, and we were come uh, driving up to do our gigs on March 12th, 2000. And, um, you know, we didn't do the gigs. Um, so we finished our record remotely from our houses. Uh, all different people played on it from far away, and we weren't even in the same house. And it was such a weird, weird time because New York was unrecognizably silent and empty and it was really really shocking it was just absolutely desolate until seven o'clock when people would throw open their windows and clap for the essential workers and it was that was like the only thing that was happening you know in the deep moments of the real shutdown where new york was turned off um and uh, i wrote this song for the record it was the last song it was the only song i wrote for the record and I procrastinated and, that's, and then there was a pandemic and so I had to write it about that. Uh, but this I wrote during that period. Did you guys have this where like, you know how everyone was very disconnected and stuff, but then there was also this hyper connection where people were Zooming with their family members and talking to people you don't usually and it seemed like a good idea to like weekly Zoom with people and then after a while you were like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, there was like a weird combo of like, 
apartness and togetherness. So I wrote this song um, during that time in New York. And this is the, uh, the title track of our record that we made. Just up and down now. I can still hear you. Between a few wild rides, surrounded on all sides, I can still hear you. I can still hear. Even if you're only hearing us for the first time, you probably wouldn't be surprised to know that we don't get asked to play at a lot of weddings. <laughs> um, that's just not really the kind of material that we have. Um, but a bunch of years ago now, my dad, he asked us if we would sing at one of his weddings. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just said, you know, you could pick whatever, like, don't tell us, it's fine, you know, surprise us. And, we had been learning this song, um, and sometimes when you're learning a new song, it was a cover, and we were, we were really into learning it, figuring out the parts and stuff, and sometimes when you're doing that, you really kind of get a crush on the song, kind of. So we were like, oh, well, let's do that one uh, for the wedding, and we just, we didn't really think it through. <laughs> really. But we really did not think it through. I mean, it, it was one of those situations where people were standing around with their you know, long-stemmed champagne glasses, and they were smiling at us, and then we started singing, and it was like, oh my God. <laughs> so just imagine, here you are, you're at the wedding, everything's going fine. <laughs> Oh, 
you're a hard one. I know that you've got your reasons. These things that are pleasing you can hurt you somehow. But you draw the queen of diamonds. She'll beat you if she's able. You know the queen of hearts is always your best bet. Seems to me some fine things have been laid upon your table, but you only want the ones that you can't get. Desperado, no, you ain't getting no younger. Your pain and your hunger are driving you home, and freedom. Oh, that's just some people talking. Your prison is walking through this world all alone. Don't your feet get cold in the winter time? The sky won't snow and the sun won't shine. It's hard to tell the nighttime from the day. You're losing all your highs and lows. Ain't it funny how the feeling goes away? Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? Come down from your fences, open the gate. It may be raining, but there's a you better let somebody love you. Better let somebody love you. Better let somebody love you before it's too questions or comments? <laughs> Are they still together? No. <laughs> yes? How many funerals do play up? <laughs> oh, we haven't been invited to a funeral yet, but <laughs> we are available for weddings and funerals. We'll do anything. Yes. Basically. <laughs> um, well, we have a quandary here. It's 6.50 and we have to be done by 7.00. I don't know if we have one or two. Could you two. play the last one very slowly? <laughs> or, or do two. Do you want to do two? Two. two? Okay, we'll, we'll, do them, we'll do them both very quickly. <laughs> so anyway, this, like I was saying about for the Roaches fans. <laughs> this is an old Roaches song that my sister Maggie wrote. And it's a, a love song. Uh, you know, we don't do a lot of love songs. Not sure why that is. But this is a love song, and it's kind of after the romantic part of the thing has fizzled out into nothingness, really. <laughs> but it's before the real hatred sets in. <laughs> season I was born fell down like any corn I am the only tree and everybody leaves I've got to get away from you
it's true so much everybody um, it's really amazing to drive all the way down here and then you you showed up <laughs> yeah. it never ceases to amaze me and I never take it for granted even after all these years and so thank you very much and I hope that you guys will feel inspired by what you saw here and go home and call up your mother or your father or your sister, child, and see if they want to start a band with you. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, would you sing a song with us? Great, because we have a song that everybody knows, and it would be great if you if we ended the whole thing by just singing into this beautiful hall. It's really amazing this place. You'll all know this song. Just a poor boy. 
Though my story is seldom told, I have squandered my resistance for a pocket full of mumbles, such are promises. All lies and jest, still a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Mm -hmm. no more than a boy in the company of strangers in the quiet of a railway station running scared laying low seeking out the poorer quarters where the ragged people go looking for the places only they would know here we go lie lie you sing? All right. Asking only workmen's wages, I come looking for a job, but I get no offer. Just to come on from the whores on 7th Avenue. I do declare there were times when I was so lonesome. I took some comfort there. La, 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 la. Now the years are rolling by me. They are rocking evenly. I am older than I once was. Younger than I'll be, that's not unusual. Though it isn't strange after change upon changes we are more or less the same after changes we are more or less the same so sweet. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. For more information about upcoming shows, please check out the Kennedy Center website or Facebook page. Thank you.